Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this awesome trippy text within Premiere Pro. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. Alrighty, so once we get into the project, we're going to go down here to this little paper icon and we're going to create a color mallet. Make sure it's 1920 by 1080 and click OK. You can do your desired color. This is just going to be the background for now. I'm just going to make it kind of a light blue hit OK and OK. We're just going to drag this background layer right onto our timeline and extend it out to about 10 seconds. Next up, we're going to create our text. So we can go down to this little T and then just click up here. And then for now, I'm just going to do the word trippy. We're just going to grab this little circle and make sure it's right in the middle of our text. And we're just going to expand our text. I'd say right there. And then we're just going to hold control again and make sure it's right in the center of our timeline. Next up, I'm just going to extend our text text to that 10 second mark and then I'm also going to right click in this dead space go to add tracks and then we're going to add an additional 10. Now the next step we're just going to grab this trippy text layer and we're going to drag it up two layers. So we have two open layers here and then we're just going to duplicate this text layer by holding alt grabbing it and dragging down. Let's see we created a duplicate. Make sure you select the bottom one and then we're going to go into the FX control panel. So this is just personal preference for now I'm just going to change the fill type to a a nice orange and then I'm also going to enable the stroke and make it the same exact color so we can just do this little eyedropper here and click on that fill color click OK and then we're just going to expand the stroke to about 15 and then we're just going to duplicate that text layer once again the one on the bottom just going to hold alt drag down and then we should have another duplicate layer we're going to click on that layer we're going to go into the effects control panel and then once again this is just personal preference again I'm just going to change the color to a light pink and hit OK. And then we're also going to make sure the stroke is the exact same color as the fill. Next up, we're just going to enlarge the stroke a little bit. So I'm going to do 23. And then I will also enlarge the scale, which is right here where the position and scale is. And I'm just going to make that a tad bigger. And then we're just going to adjust the position a little bit. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. And then I'm also just going to bring it over a little bit. So you can see it's way too big. So I'm actually just going to make the scale a little bit smaller and just kind of adjust it as you go. So I personally, think that's good. So we're just going to quickly add a drop shadow to this second text layer. So make sure you select that second text layer right in between. We're going to go to the effects panel and we're just going to type in drop shadow. We're just going to double click on that drop shadow and then we're going to go over to the effects control panel and change the opacity to 100. I'm going to change the distance to 23 and then I'm going to make the softness about 56. So the next step I'm just going to kind of animate this little bit. So we're going to create a little bit of a wavy animation. I'm just going to select all three text layers I'm going to right click and I'm going to nest it doesn't matter what you name it I'm just going to leave it as is and we're going to select this nest sequence we're going to go up to the effects panel and we're going to type in wave warp it should be under distort and we're just going to double click it and then we're just going to adjust some of the settings in the effects control panel so for the height I'm going to make it 47 for the wave width I'm just going to make it 950 and then for the wave speed I'm going to make it 0.5 and then you can just kind of see it creates a little bit of a wavy animation. Now just double click on that nest sequence and we're going to be back in our three text layers and then we're just going to create that rainbow effect. So we're going to select the middle text layer. We're going to go up to the effects panel and we're going to type in color balance and it should be color balance HLS. Just double click on that and then all we're going to do is drag our blue tracer to the very beginning of the animation. We're going to click a keyframe for the hue and then we're just going to go to the very end of the animation and then we're just going to crank up that hue to times two or whatever that means and we're also going to do the same thing for the very bottom text layer but all we have to do is just click on the color balance do Control c go down to the bottom text layer and then just do Control v and boom now for the next step it is very intense on your pc so just kind of take that into account but we're going to select our very top text layer we're going to go to the effects and we're going to type in vr glow we're going to double click on that and then we're going to go over to the effects control panel and then we're just going to change the luma threshold to 0 0.1 and then we're just going to go down to the second text layer and we're going to double click the vr glow from the effects once again so we're going to change the luma threshold to 0 0.6 and then we're just going to select the final text layer and we're going to go up to the vr glow and just double click on that we're going to change the luma threshold to zero and then we're going to just do Control c Control v and then we're going to change the second duplicate to 0 0.8 and then all you have to do is just go back to the original sequence and then play
play back your animation. Now, if you guys are interested in creating silky smooth text within Premiere Pro, click the video on the right. That's everything for me, guys. Peace out.